Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Did you have any mentors or role models who influenced your approach to wealth building? And if so, how did they help you? I'm not asking who they are. I'm just asking how they helped you. Well, yeah, I've got, um, I mean, I have lots of lots of mem- mentors. You didn't ask who, so I won't say names. But one individual that I talked to a while ago, him and I both actually went to negative $1.8 million after the financial crisis in 2008. And today, I recovered my millions I'm you know 15-ish million and that's not including what Keegley's worth who God knows what that's going to be what that'll sell for one day so whatever um and I got I you know I got back I got back what I wanted because I was like I want full recovery okay so I got full recovery and what did he say I want billion dollars and he got a billion dollars and we started from the same spot in the same amount of time and I think I'm smarter than this man Right. So, so how does this happen? Because of bigger target, bigger thinking, right? You are limited by the belief structure that you're holding in your life. Right. And so if I only believe I can make $12 million, $15 million, $20 million, then that's all I'm going to get. If I believe that I'm worthy of a billion dollars, then that's what I'm going to get. You have to remove the limits in your mind if you want to remove the limits in your life. Amen. Amen. 100%. I love that. All right. Number six. How do you balance risk and reward when you're making your investment decisions? I um, am very risk averse. So for me, because I've been through the 2008 financial crisis, it, it you, you never, I don't know. If, I mean, of course, lots of therapy, lots of breath work, lots of meditation, psychedelics, all the things are like, okay, finally, I'm over this financial crisis. Okay, cool. <laughs> right? Um, but you really, really like it's, it leaves a residue, it leaves an energetic imprint in you and, and it's difficult to get away from that. Right. And so what I've become really good at is spotting opportunities that don't require me to take substantial risk. Why wholesaling real estate is my favorite business model in the world is that I can't lose money. You can't lose money. I mean, I can't lose money, right? Unless I do bonehead things, don't cross my T's, don't dot my I's. If I'm rec- reckless, uh, you know, doing stupid things, yeah, I can lose money. Do- if I follow the games, if I follow the rules of the game and I know my numbers and I and I uh, structure my things correctly, I can't lose money. And so how how why would I do anything else? Right. 100%. I love it, man. I can't lose money. I love it. But being risk adverse, I get from the history in the past. It makes sense. That's why I also love wholesaling real estate. Agreed, man. I love it. Oh, 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 oh,